for the most part, the residents of Camden County understand that what's good for Camden City is good for Camden County. Crime is regional, and, and um, I, I think the general public is beginning to really understand that. Let me give you an example. We recently conducted some, our prosecutor's office conducted some reverse raids where they have folks pose as drug dealers, and then people come in and try to buy drugs from an undercover agent. About 80% of our arrests of people purchasing drugs in Camden City are people coming from the suburbs. It's not the residents of Camden City buying these drugs and funding this operation. It's people from where I live in Collingswood, up to Cherry Hill, Burlington County, Gloucester County. So there needs to be a real regional effort to fight this crime, and Chief Thompson um, has already begun meetings with the surrounding uh, municipalities' chiefs to talk about how we can have a concerted effort to fight this crime. Um, you know, we have home invasions now in Cherry Hill, Gloucester Township, um, and all, all that crime is, is is this drug traffic from the city um, having its impact on local municipalities. So the soldiers in these gangs, they all live in the city and fight in the city. Well, the generals, they're living out in the suburbs. They're not dumb. Um, they're using the money they make to buy some nice homes and nice neighborhoods. So crime follows them. And the people buying drugs, uh, they generally commit petty crimes throughout our, our neighborhoods to buy it, to you know, get the cash to buy drugs. So legally speaking, our, our county police officers have, have jurisdiction throughout the county. However, I just want to be clear on this, they will only be patrolling Camden City. Yeah, our biggest issue is the drug trafficking. So we have about 175 open air drug markets. Uh, so if we were to, to put a, a heat map of the city up on a wall, you would see just about the, the entire city being covered uh, with some areas, uh, you know, a little more redder than most. Uh, you know, some of our more challenged areas are the North Camden community uh, and the Whitman Park community. Those are probably where we have our most violent crimes take place. But it is starting to permeate other neighborhoods throughout Camden. I think there's this general perception that, you know, because it's Camden and because Camden's been ranked in the top five of the most dangerous cities in America, that anything goes in Camden. And I think, you know, now's the time for us to send a strong message that those days are over. Um, and to start to, to push back some of that crime element out of the city that really um, comes to the city to conduct their criminal activities. And so, you know, we're, we're saying it's a new day. You know, there's no renaissance without, you know, making our city safer. Mm -hmm. It starts with making our city safer. Once our city is safe, look, access, mm -hmm. we have, uh, you know, major uh, highways that gets to and from the city. You know, the water is an attraction. Uh, you, you know, the fact that you know, city is unique. It's, it is affordable. Um, you know, with, without making our city safe, we're, we're not going to turn our city around. So that's number one. Once we make our city safe and individuals know it's safe to invest in the city, they're going to come.